News 25 Saints Report. Sponsored by Bay Pest Control. Amidst all the trade rumors, Alvin Kamara came out and had his best game of the season, racking up 158 yards from scrimmage on 27 touches to go along with his first three touchdowns of the season. All part of a complete team effort for the Saints, who racked up four sacks in their first shutout since week 15 of last season and roots away 24-0 domination over Dennis Allen's former team. Long story short, the Saints have their swagger back. They say it's common courtesy to break up with someone in person as opposed to sending a text message. But if the other person refuses to meet in person, then they've left you no choice. Today, Southern Miss ghosting Conference USA over text, or should I say press release, but either way, the message is still loud and clear. If there is a single game rushing record before this one, well, chances are Frank Gore Jr. probably broke it. 329 yards on the ground, the most in an NCAA bowl game ever and a new Southern Miss program record. Their first bowl game win since 2016. It's been a long road back to the top and even though the Golden Eagles aren't quite there yet, they are well on their way. Well, here in the Big Easy, the big story at the big dance was the last dance for Coach K, but that story has since been written but what a comeback for the Tigers as the fans bring the student section onto the field after knocking off the seventh ranked team in the country. LSU baby let's go seven and one who? Well, as you can see, Tigers fans storming the field here in Death Valley, and why not? Memories that'll last a lifetime. Teamwork makes the dream work at stop number four on News 25's 25 teams in 25 days, where the George County Rebels are putting in work at their home away from home. Annual team camp at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College setting the tone for we over me. I'm Devin Booker now, played Devin Booker in high school, but Devin Booker in high school hold his own, or how would that one-on-one -on -one game go? <laughs> He wouldn't back down, I'll tell you that. After one of the best three-year runs of high school football the Gulf Coast has ever seen, Ocean Springs head coach Blake Pennick is leaving one powerhouse program for another. Just a few hours ago, as first reported by WXXV, the Gulfport Admirals officially naming Pennick as their next head coach. Today, Gulfport's Kate Smith became the first girl soccer player in school history to win Gatorade Player of the Year for Mississippi not once, but twice. When asked about doing an interview, she said, as long as it's before 3 p.m. Of course, the Ole Miss signee would be watching her Rebels in the College World Series. Hey, Lori, well, you wouldn't know it was a Monday here at Pete Taylor Park in Hattiesburg. Easily 5,000 fans plus once again to watch the third rendition of Southern Miss and LSU for the right to go to a Super Regional, not only go to a Super Regional, host a Super Regional. The last time the Stone football program went this deep in the playoffs, I was born, barely, you weren't. I sure wasn't. All right, Lori, here it is, the WXXD Ooh. play of the day. Watch this. Yes. Oh. And left-handed. Sam Murray the second coming out of the timeout. Sean Holmes hasn't made a shot all game, but who cares who's got next? Buzzer beater, 6-9. Howes can't block it. That's game. Harrison Central wins an instant classic at the Holiday Classic. Plenty of reason to celebrate oh, here on the yeah. News 25 Friday Night Showcase alongside Ansley Brent. I'm Jeff Hager, and we're throwing a party we to sure commemorate are. the end of 7.30 start Hallelujah. times. DJ Khaled says you either win with us or you watch us win, and AJ Phillips is like, Caden, I'll win with you. Fade route of a lifetime. Touchdown Gators, except now they have first down and the future Oregon Duck playing a game of Duck, Duck, Goose. It's going to be a quack down. Touchdown, Dowdell. Back in May, Picayune running back Dante Dowdell put on quite the show at his commitment ceremony, trying on three different sets of gloves before finally landing on Oregon. Between then and now, Dowdell is the proud owner of yet another 5A state championship, but that's the only thing that's changed as he stays true to the Ducks seven months later. Hey, Lori, well, for the third time in four years, Picayune is going up against West Point for the 5A state championship. West Point winning it in 2019, Picayune winning it in 2021, and I don't think anybody is getting tired of this matchup. I know I'm not. Last year, Picayune exacting its revenge with that 40-21 to 21 victory, and I remember it like it was yesterday. Cody Stogner, the legendary Dodley, getting a Gatorade ice bath together to celebrate what was an immaculate night here at the Rock. Hey, there we go. Fresh off back to back. I know we just talked about it, but how sweet is this one just to do it once and now twice, 26 wins in a row, two state championships. How do you soak all this in? It's just so, they're all sweet.